I'm Neil Edmonds and I'm the course tutor, leader for the IFF Mechanics of Project Finance course. This is a 20 week um, distance learning course that's been put together uh, a combination with IFF myself and alongside Middlesex University. The course is built on the background and history that I have within Project Finance. I've been involved in Project Finance probably since um, the early 1990s as the UK started to privatise the electricity industry and I've been following Project Finance and been involved in it ever since. I've also been training Project Finance now probably since two th early 2016. Um, run many, many courses and been engaged with an awful lot of people. Project Finance is actually quite a very, is a very valuable source of financing. It is used predominantly for large-scale capital-intensive businesses and it's probably in the region of $300 billion a year is written in, in the project finance market. And that's over a thousand transactions um, and these vary in size quite considerably. There can be several billion dollars in some of the deals. The course is designed in 10 units. Units 1 to 6 are actually based upon the mechanics of project finance. And what we've tried to do is break up a subject that's fairly complex into manageable chunks where they build on each other to give you an overall picture of project finance. And we've kept those very specific into the mechanics. Units seven to nine are actually looking at the various industry sectors. Um, we've got a fairly heavy, strong unit that's based upon the renewable energy um, section, which is, of course, one of the main drivers in the market today. We also take a look at the natural resource sector, mining and oil and gas, and we'll take a look at the PPP infrastructure sector. And so what we've done is those industry cores will look at how we interpret project finance for specific industries, and units one to six are generic and look at the whole um, basis of project finance. And then the majority of deals in PF are actually done in Europe, in the US, in developed, well-established markets that are investment grade. But we also do quite a few transactions in emerging markets. Now, that the approach to emerging market is going to be very different compared to an investment grade country because of the nature of the country risk, currency risk, etc., that we may assess and find in emerging markets. So we've built a specific, a specific section, Unit 10, is dealing with looking at project finance from an emerging market perspective and how that differs from looking at deals in OECD markets. The course is designed for lenders and for sponsors. So what we're trying to do is to make sure that we give all parties an understanding of the motivations of the opposite side. So for lenders, so they can understand a little bit of where sponsors are coming from. And importantly, for sponsors to understand the motivations behind the lenders and how they behave and structure the deals. The course is also quite interesting as well for advisors, people who are sitting on the edge of project finance, not directly involved, technical advisors, lawyers, etc., to give you a full understanding of the mechanics and processes. So when you come on the course, what you'll actually learn is very much based upon the ability to understand, identify risk, how we manage and mitigate that risk from a project finance perspective, and also a very strong understanding of the motivations of the people on the other side of the table when you're negotiating the deal. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.